to you about something really important. You know, a lot of my Fresh Friday um, topics come from my clients um, during the week, you know, like whatever's coming up is what I try to have as a theme for Fresh Friday. And what's coming up lately is this theme of acid versus alkaline. And so what is this whole acid versus alkaline thing? A lot of people think like it's a big hoax, like it's just like kind of foo-foo or, you know, not real. But seriously, acid versus alkaline is a true thing. And um, research has shown that our body functions better in an alkaline environment. And so there's a lot of stuff that comes up with acidity. And so what are like some of the feelings that that acidity kind of creates in the body. Acidity creates, you know, fatigue. It creates, you know, if you're tired, obviously fatigue, backaches, headaches, um, dry skin. There's so many different causes, uh, different symptoms of acidity. And it could even be hormonal imbalance or shortness of breath or headaches, you know. So there's a lot of things that happens when our body is not functioning at its best in an acidic state. And so when we talk about this whole thing of acid versus alkaline, when we try to get our body to more of an alkaline state, we actually, things work better. Things work better in an alkaline state. Actually, um, research has shown that our bodies can't, uh, disease can't survive in an alkaline environment. So. How do you make your body alkaline? This is like the million dollar question today and I thought I would talk to you about it. So I thought about how to make it simple for you guys because I always try to translate scientific, scientific, if I could say the word, scientific information <laughs> into more layman's terms and to make it practical, right? Because that's what it's all about is making things practical so that you can incorporate them into your daily life because what's the use of learning all this great information if we don't do it? And that's what I'm here for too, as your lifestyle educator and living fresh expert. So if you need personal assistance, I'd always be glad to help you with that. But how do we make our body more alkaline? There's a couple tips, right, that I put together on how to make our body more alkaline. We wanna make a couple swaps in our diet. So when you talk about fluids, what we drink that is acidic, that makes our body acidic, is coffee and alcohol and things like that. So what you can do is transition to more alkaline beverages. You know, herbal teas are very alkaline and um, you can also do yerba mate, which is a her herbal tea that's naturally energizing, right? So you can also do, and you, Talking about fluids, you can do alkaline water. There's a lot of things going on with water and everybody's wondering like, what kind of water do I drink? What's up with the water? Well, you can test your pH yourself and find out you know, how acidic your water is, how, how alkaline it is, but of course there's drops, there's all kinds of things you can do. If it makes you feel better, do it. Your body has a lot of different ways of, of making that alkaline environment. So I really don't think it's just about putting some drops in your water, um, but it may help. And so speaking about testing, you know, it's very easy to go to the drugstore and get a little litmus paper. I'll put a link in there too for some different pH testing, but you could test your urine or your saliva and in the morning it's going to be more acidic, but you want it generally around 7.2 to 7.4. And it can range acidity and alkaline from zero to 14. So if you do test, it's a good way to test, but you don't wanna eat anything, right? Cause that'll just test whatever you just ate. So you wait until, you know, maybe a half an hour and then you test your, to see whether your body is alkaline or acidic. But if you do test, you just wanna make sure to do it at the same time every day. Okay, so some other tips. You can switch your cow's milk to milk alternatives because dairy is very acidic. So this is by Cocoa Milk. It's a great one. Buy one, get one free right now at Greenwise. Um, has no fillers or anything like that. But if switching from cow's milk to a milk alternative can help your body become more alkaline. Uh, switching from caffeine and coffee to more herbal teas can make your body more alkaline. 
And also speaking of beverages, you know, one of my favorite things to alkalinize the body is green juice. And thankfully my kids love green juice. If you put a little green apple and things in to kind of smooth it out and not make it so bitter, um, kids really like it and it's a great way to get vegetables in kids' diets. So I love my green juice. It's really good, I'm thirsty now but super alkalinizing for the body, green juice, and just greens in general. So when we talk about our diet, transitioning from more grains, because the standard American diet, you guys, it's really high in processed foods and grain, which is really acidic. So we want to eat more, bam, vegetables, right? Adding more fruits and vegetables into your diet versus grains and meats, can make your body more alkaline naturally, right? So we wanna eat more greens, especially for us to make our body more alkaline. And you can add a little lemon on here. The funny thing is, yes, citrus is an acidic fruit, but in the body, your body, it actually gets, it makes it more alkaline. So it's acidic in nature, but when it gets in your body, it's more alkaline. And so, same thing with grapefruit. And you know, grapefruit, it's in season now, it's so good. Grapefruit is a great thing. Grapefruit is a great fruit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so, of course. So grapefruit is wonderful for alkalinizing your body. And so what you can do is just have a grapefruit first thing in the morning. Fruits, it's better to have fruit on an empty stomach, you guys just for optimal digestion, but grapefruit is so good for alkalinizing the body, and um, it's great for you. So what else do we have here to show you? More tips to alkalinize your body. Celery is very alkalinizing, very. And then we also have, um, if you want a quick tip to alkalinize your body, you can take an aluminum-free baking powder, and this is, you know, this is very salty. If you have like renal failure, if you have, you're very salt sensitive, you may not want to include this tip, but you can just take like a teaspoon of aluminum free. I say that because there's aluminum in baking powder. So you want to get an aluminum free baking powder and I'll put a link in for that. But really just a teaspoon, you guys, that's all you need. And you kind of just stir it up. It's like a salty solution. So not a lot of people like to drink that. But speaking of salt, that can really alkalinize your body. Speaking of salt, Himalayan pink salt is another great alkalinizing thing for your body. So, you know, the whole sodium debate, that's a whole nother Fresh Friday, right? Um, but basically, we eat too many processed foods. So having a little bit of sea salt, especially pink Himalayan sea salt, is a great thing to do for your body and uh, it can really help to alkalinize it. And so my last tip that I wanna share is to supplement to alkalinize your body. So you can do a greens powder every day. I'll put a link um, in the comments for a great greens powder. And then also, like I said, fruits and veggies are so alkalinizing. So Juice Plus is great NSA certified. They have, it's a powerful, powerful company. It's great for alkalinizing the body too. I'll put that link in there. And last but not least, you guys, detox. Because when we think about acid and, and our bodies being acidic, you know, fat accumulates when our bodies are acidic. And fat is toxic because our toxins actually go into the fat cells and our fat, which is our brain too. So when we talk about detoxing the body, that's a great way to alkalinize it. And so the Complete Detox program is getting a facelift right now, but you can still order it and you can order it anytime. And I'm there to assist you. And so I will put the link in there for that. And you know what? It all comes down to balance. You know, there's no, there's no quick fix for health. But with these living fresh tips and moving your health in the right direction every day, doing something to improve the health and happiness of your body, you can certainly become more alkaline on a daily basis. Don't forget, if you're stressed out, stress can also make the body more acidic. 
So lavender is wonderful. It's like one of my faves. I could take a whole bath in this stuff. And um, lavender is so relaxing, but also yoga. Yoga is very relaxing. So whatever you can do, you know, play more. Make more space in your day to play and have more fun because at the end of the day, it's really about, you know, it's really about your health. I think your health is the greatest wealth, right? And so do what you can to relax, to have fun, and to live fresh. So I hope you enjoyed these tips for moving your body from acidic to alkaline. And I will see you next time. I can't wait to hear your comments. And I'll see you soon. Bye.